Hi guys, just yesterday I finished my testing for the Lumia 745 review and then I thought why not just try the new developer preview. It is version 10149, so this is the latest Windows 10 mobile preview and I will give you a quick look and if you haven't seen any of the preview videos yet, let's just do that and I want to start off with the settings menu because this has changed quite a lot as you can see here. It looks a lot more organized here with more categories. It's not as bloated anymore but I still have to say it is kind of overwhelming and some things in my opinion just aren't in the right place because if you go to system you have display with brightness level automatically and so on. But if you want to change the brightness, you still have to look for it somewhere else because that one is actually, yeah, where is it? That's the thing because you still have to actually search for that. And then this option is quite nice because you have, as you can see here, two display options. And the second one is actually the one you are looking for with sunlight readability, brightness profile and so on. So I think they should have put just all in one place. This for me seems still a little bit convoluted. I hope for this to improve, but I'm not so sure if that will actually happen, but I really hope so. What also seems kind of out of place is the extras because these aren't, as you can see here, full size clickable because you, if you go into extras, then you will hit exactly what you need and why is audio an extra and not somewhere in the settings for example for the system or for the devices or something like that this still seems a little bit odd for me otherwise it definitely looks better and due to the search function it is a lot better now but i don't know maybe this is because of the nature of windows 10 from the desktop system but there is too much going on for someone who is new he will have to search and as you maybe saw from me i am not a Windows 10 Pro or a Windows 8.1 phone Pro, but I still have to search a lot for things. The next thing I want to talk about would be the quick settings. Here we have them. For some reason, they don't work right now with the very latest update. The one I had yesterday still had working things like brightness, but now everything is blinking and nothing works anymore. But yesterday, on the old version, it still did. But as you can see here, you can collapse them. You can rearrange those four here, but that is all you can change. But once you collapse them, you have uh, expand them you have all visible once again this is definitely nice and if you long press you actually get to the settings menu itself this has been improved a lot if you have notifications now you can swipe them away but you have to swipe them to the right which is a bit odd for me because i usually tend to swipe them to the left but it works and if you want to swipe all away just use multiple fingers i think three or so are enough and swipe them all away so this has been done definitely better than it was before because now because then you only had the chance to dismiss all the next thing i want to show off are the animations if we now enter an app we see a totally different animation than we saw before and i had issues with the animations on 8.1 i thought they were just too long and a little bit unnecessary i like this one a lot but i still think it just takes too long as you can see here to enter an app it still is kind of yeah it could be faster it is definitely nice and for some i reason i think the out of the app animation this one here just seems unfinished for me because here you have this nice animation but here just a blank screen and then you are there so i i really hope that this animation will improve because this just doesn't look right for me otherwise the entering animation is nice and it is mostly smooth it still has this slight little stutter same as the one on the 8.1 did but that's also a thing of, i think a little bit of a device thing but i still hope this will improve the next thing to show off would be the new recent apps. Usually what happened was the old apps were on the left side. Now for some reason they switched that and made it to the right side. I'm not really sure why they did this change. I, If you use it with your right hand, actually the light, right side makes more sense, but I kind of was already used to left, so I'm not sure why they changed it. You can also swipe it downwards away. There is no close all button though, which is a little bit of a bummer, but at least it works. But for me, the, the issue is you only see one app and then the other, maybe like this way, half of each. I would like to see at least a few more for better multitasking ability because this isn't definitely the most space saving option, I would say. So what else is there to show off? The performance. On this version 101 for 9, I have to say the performance, as you can see here, is nice. And since I'm recording now with 50 frames, you can almost grasp how smooth it actually is. 
as you can see here. This has been done really nice because previous versions definitely weren't on this level yet. And I'm really happy to see a big improvement here. It is still a little bit wonky from time to time. But this is, I think, pretty much good enough for a daily driver and it works. It still, of course, has a few bugs, but the performance itself is very nice, as you can see here. Of course, still limited here on this version, on this device with one gigabyte, but still, there are a few bugs, as you already saw here, with the blinking quick settings. You can't enter them right now. Otherwise, as you can see here, they just don't work right now. It did, they did before. We also have an issue that you can't answer the pin for your lock screen sometimes. I didn't have that issue. Apps just crash from time to time. TimeSense, for example, also just doesn't work. So there, it is, you have to consider that it's, it is just a preview version. So it will have bugs. But what I'm seeing right now already is on a good way. I hope the performance will still improve a little bit because right now it is almost on 8.1 level, but I'm sure once it is final, it will be at least on 8.1. And I hope, hope, hope they will improve a lot on the animations. I want at least an option to make them shorter or just quicker because it doesn't make the device for me feel as snappy as I would like to. So this is it. Let's check once again quick the settings. What I find to be a little bit odd if we go, for example, in ease of access, here we have magnifier. I enter the app just to see an on and off button. Closed captions as well. I, here we have more, okay, but more options. I have just text scaling, why or high contrast? Just one option. Why not just make this available right out here? So settings menu has to be improved. Quick settings are working nice once they work nice. Animations, I would like to be faster. New recent apps works, but it is not really efficient in my opinion. Performance is already great and there are bugs. This is my opinion for right now on the 101.49. Of course, we have still a lot of time to improve because the first devices won't be ready until like from what I know, October. So there's still a lot of time. And if you are an insider, just give them more input, what to improve. And I hope they will actually see this video and maybe take a look at some things I mentioned. Okay. Until next time, bye.